What is it going on, guys? I am Sonic Ride 9, and welcome back to some more LEGO Dimensions gameplay. When we, la when we last played uh, LEGO Dimensions, we played through the Adventure Time world. So, uh, the, the Adventure Time world, the Adventure Time level pack. And uh, today, we're going to do the next one, being Mission Impossible. So, let's get to it. Now, um... We're actually going to have a little bit of assistance on this one because I'm going to have another character be with us from another franchise. Um, who is it? Well, I shall uh, say. What's your new level? Thank you. <laughs> Top Gun reference. already has contains code names but this half is useless without its mate which Galitzin plans to steal from the embassy your mission Jim should you choose to accept it is to shadow Galitzin to his buyer and apprehend them both I've already dispatched a team selected from your usual group this tape will self-destruct in five seconds good luck Jim <laughs> oh, and here we go It's really cool to Legofy the uh, the intro to the Mission Impossible uh, movie. And by the way, I should say this is effectively the first movie of Mission Impossible, but completely retold in Lego. Galitzin is attending the party inside, but he is there to steal the knock list containing the identities of all IMF agents. I am just putting on the second character now. Hopefully, should appear when we're playing. Wouldn't have it any other way. And here he is. Mr. T has arrived. Yes, Mr. B.A. Baracus. So he's going to be our helper throughout this whole level. Now, um, what's interesting about this level is that there is quite a great deal of stealth in this, surprisingly. You can, you know, slowly walk through this level and... Uh, just be, you know, real slow-like and sneak around and whatnot. But, uh, if you're like me and just like going in, running and gunning, uh, you can do that too. So, um, what's cool about, um, Mr. Ethan Hunt here is that he is a athletic character. So he can swing on these poles like, uh, some of the female characters, like Wild Style. He also has, um, his silencer gun, which can be very useful. And, um... There will be certain mini games later in the level, which um, and I didn't even put Mr. T on the. Uh, that was interesting. Don't know why that little portal is still okay. The portal just left. <laughs> Mr. T just sort of teleported in. It's kind of odd. Get out of here! Now, um, to be honest, Mr. T doesn't even need to be here. To be honest, I mean. I can clearly just do this without him, but uh, I figured, um, you know, spice this level up and whatnot. Anyway, as you can probably tell, the spotlights change colour if you're in the vicinity of the actual um, security guard. Yellow means you're safe and he hasn't seen you. Orange means he's kind of seen you, but he hasn't fully seen you yet. And then red is basically, okay, he's seen you, you need to get out of the way. But as you can see right there... It is possible to literally um, knock out the uh, the security guard. And uh, what we just threw there was actually the uh, explosive gum which Tom Cruise had in the actual movies. It's uh, one of his special unique attacks. And it also makes very good use for when you do the, the ground pound move. That literally kills almost anyone who's in that vicinity. Like awesome and now we have a bit of a mini game we've got to guide this little red fuse all the way from the green and to the red like so fairly standard stuff and fairly simple 
Also, I am a little bit worried that this video is going to get um, copyright ID due to the fact that we're using the Mission Impossible theme. But eh, I'm not going to be too fussed if that happens. If it happens, if it happens, and you know, I probably shouldn't have done that. And damn it, they saw me. Anyway, I'm going in. I think when we get when we get to in, into a major fight scene, I'm gonna have Mr. T do some punches because yeah, you know, he uh, needs to have a lot of fun. I guess I should also mention why I also have Mr. T here is because um, he's the other character that I have yet to showcase. I showcased all the Adventure Time characters, and since and well, since Mr. T didn't come with a level, he's a fun pack. Um, I figured I might as well just show him off in a a separate level pack level. Anyway, what we just did there was another one of uh, Ethan Hunt's unique abilities. The ability to scan another person and practically steal their identity. <laughs> she sealed that right there. He uh, fainted. I should also point out, I never really watched any of the Mission Impossible movies. I've been more of a James Bond fan than a Mission Impossible fan. I mean... I've seen clips of Mission Impossible. I've never really watched it. But uh, that brings up to the uh, the point that I want to make. Um, I kind of want to see a James Bond uh, pack in this game. Maybe for year three. That'd be cool. If they can do Mission Impossible, I'm sure that they can do James Bond. That and Terminator is another franchise I would love to see. Could you imagine if a, a little Arnold Schwarzenegger um, minifig? Also, yeah, I know I'm talking over the dialogue. It's just a lot of, you know, spy dialogue that, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. You go piano. Whoa! It exploded! Explosion! Oh. Wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. Sarah's right. Looks like your way past that elevator is via one of the uniformed security guards in the vicinity. There should be one in the area whose uniform you can take. Okay, so it looks like we've got to scan a security guard. There he is. Um, in the meantime, I guess I should explain some of the uh, the future of LEGO Dimensions. Um, so what's coming up after this um, in November? We've got the pack that I'm very much looking forward to. The whoa, everyone just sprang up on crazy. Um, I'm particularly looking forward to the Sonic the Hedgehog pack. That one's going to be really cool. I, I'm a huge fan of Sonic, and I always wanted to see Sonic and Lego it, as a pack. And it's just such a bonus to see that they're making, you know, effectively a Lego Sonic. But anyway, we've got um, another one of Ethan Hunt's amazing abilities. Stealth. Like so, he uses a uh, a bit of reflective glass to uh, protect himself. Okay, uh, do that, do that, and do that. There we go. And behold, a secret panel. What lies behind this wall? Secrecy. <laughs> Stop doing that. You'll see what that ability is later. Okay. I remember this puzzle. This puzzle was in um, Lego Jurassic World, where you had to press a certain, um, a certain combination of um, directions. And uh, then you'd get in. That's not our guy. There he is. Blitzen won't be hanging around once the knock list goes onto that disc of his. Let's go, Mr. T. I'm surprised they even let you in here. 
And you're just gonna stand there, eh? There's our criminal. We'll be getting him hopefully soon. By the way, I should point out this level is very qu it's quite long. It's 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 definitely over an hour long. Which is quite crazy because um, previous level packs have been quite to be honest quite short. But these level packs definitely feel longer. I mean, for Lego levels, anyway. Tell me, sir, did you ever have anyone working for you by the name of Jack? An unreliable fellow, as I recall, constantly late. <laughs> okay, okay, just relax. I'm working on it. Once again, Mr. T just stand back and watches his colleagues go into an elevator. Nice disguise. Oh no. Oh! Man down. P poor guy. <laughs> I do like the way that the fact that they, they literally didn't show a guy getting splattered, you could obviously tell he got killed. But, uh, they showed mustard. <laughs> Ain't that something, right? Anyway, I think in this part, we, um... Why am I playing as Mr. T? <laughs> One of the great mysteries of this game. Why am I playing as a Mr. T? <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> anyway, um... Boom. Out of all the level packs so far, I I kind of prefer the Adventure Time level pack, just because of how creative the world can be. But um, this is definitely a close second. Anyway, it's time to get one of Ethan Hunt's vehicles out. The motorcycle. I think it's called the IMA scatter bike or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's like a, it's the IMF bike. We'll call it that. Cause that's what it practically is. We're being call off the I heard you the first time. Walk away. That's an order. Bam. Bam. Build, build, build. Looks like we're going to have a bit of uh, mini, f uh, mini figure interaction here. In order to match the uh, the colours on the fountain right there. Jim in a boat. We should all walk away. Walk away. Now. Abort. I repeat. Abort. Cut all radio communication before it's too late. Nobody can know we were here. Shoot. Yeah, if you hit the wall, you break, basically, you try again. <laughs> Boom! Victory! And, uh, okay. Boom! And, uh, boom! I always love doing that. It's so much faster than just targeting the uh, thing. Also, uh, Ethan can climb up walls using magnets. But uh, anyway, it's time to activate the uh, the shard. And uh, let's see, we need yellow. Um, we can get Mr. T to get blue. And uh, let's move Ethan there. And let's go up the wall so that we can make him red. It's obviously a lot easier if you get three, three different characters, but I've got two here and uh, they seem to work out pretty decently, so that's all good. Up goes the walls. Whoa. Goodbye, plant pot. <laughs> 
Okay. Let's, uh, let's go. Oh no. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's kind of, oh, that's kind of gruesome. Oh, hey, it's the TARDIS. Hey, Doctor. <laughs> They're very suspicious. Suspicioso. Oh. Suspicious in the background. we decoded a message on the internet from a check we know as Max. Was that Bankman? That's right. See, he'd gotten himself in a position to buy our knock list. I saw Aquaman in the tank. <laughs> I see that they're still uh, doing the whole crossover thing. Uh oh. Run, seafood, run! Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. Alright, Hunt. Enough is enough. You've bribed, cajoled, and gotten your own way, and you've done it using loyalties on the inside. All right, we've got a bit of a fight on our hands. And watch uh, Mr. T bring the beat down. And no, don't get on the bike. What are you doing? Pull this down. Oi! Whoa! There goes the, uh, the cart. <laughs> Boom! Oh my god. That was a big explosion. Don't let him get away. Take him down. And that is a lot of studs. Once again, really easy to uh blow everything up. Stand down, Hunt. You're not getting away from us this time. Press, 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 press. You hold him off, Mr. T. I'm just gonna stand here. Shut off, girl. Where's the vehicle? Geronimo! We need backup urgently. Do you copy? I'm off. We Super spin! Jeez, that was powerful. Get out of here. Boom! Oh, I blew up the motorcycle. Whoops! Nicely done, Mr. T. That was good um, use of your muscles. Woohoo! I 
Okay, it looks like we've got another uh, Mission Impossible puzzle. Boom! Yeah, a little bit heavy. And where we go onwards. That's a lot of fish. <gasps> it's Black Widow. It's oh, it's Claire. You're in the car. No, I wasn't. I've been disavowed. Kittredge assumes I'm the mole they've been tracing, and I've been in the employ of an arms dealer, Max. Whoever the mole is, I think goes by the name of Job. The message is for Job. That's right. I'm going to answer it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Max. <laughs> I want the complete list now, not just Eastern Europe. Ten million. And one more thing. Your personal assurance that Job will be at the exchange. Hmm. Max made a deal with you? I delivered a knock list. Max delivers Job. I'm gonna need some help. What kind of help? Simple game. Back. I'm F mainframe. Inside CIA headquarters in Langley. And you really think we can do this? We're going to do it. Mm. I just the Ecto-1 and the mystery machine.